My name is John. John Osagbo. I have a Christian name. I was the first in my family to be baptized. My father said it will help me get on in the world. But at home, we still practice our traditional religion. I wear the white man's trousers and a white man's shirt. Mr. Notko gave them to me, but still I go barefoot. While my feet are planted on African soil, my head is turning to the white man's world. I have traveled with Mr. Northcote for over a year. I am the most capable boy he has ever seen. I heard him say so himself. I am assistant to the government anthropologist. Corporal Nimaha, the interpreter, he said I was just a servant boy. I never liked Corporal Nimaha. He was jealous. I am young and I can't read or write, but it is I who Mr. Northcote chose to help him with his important work. It is I who carry his camera, the Adams and Co. Videx, and I who winds the Edison phonograph. It is I who hold the number plate and the umbrella to shade the sitters for Mr. Northcote while he takes their pictures. It is I who put up his tent and make his bed and wash his clothes and clear away the breakfast things. Mr. Northcote even recorded me playing my flute. Corporal Nimahan said I was like his pet monkey, but it's not so. When Mr. Northcote leaves to go back to England, he will arrange for me to be paid a pound every month and receive formal instruction in photography. Maybe he will leave me his Videx. Maybe I will set up a photographic studio in Benin City or in Lagos and take pictures of kings and chiefs and other important people like Mr. Northcote. Corporal Nimahan said I shouldn't trust the white man's promises. He told me to remember who I am. Listen to the ground, he said, and hear the footsteps of your ancestors.